This weekly salmon fishing update contains information for Chinook salmon fisheries in the Main Stem Clearwater River, the Middle Fork Clearwater River, the South Fork Clearwater River, the North Fork Clearwater River, the Snake River, the Locksaw River, the South Fork Salmon River, and the Upper Salmon River. Any areas not mentioned in this weekly salmon fishing update are closed to fishing for Chinook salmon. I encourage you to check out the Idaho Department of Fishing Game website for additional information on these fisheries. The Main Stem Clearwater River, the South Fork Clearwater River, and the Middle Fork Clearwater River are all open to Chinook salmon fishing. Fishing is allowed seven days per week and fishing hours are from 4.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific time. The daily bag limit is four salmon, only one of which may be an adult, and the possession limit is 12 salmon, only three of which may be adults. The Main Stem Clearwater River is open to fishing for Chinook salmon from the Cherry Lane Bridge upstream to the confluence of the Middle Fork and South Fork Clearwater Rivers. The South Fork Clearwater River is open from the mouth upstream to the confluence of the American and Red Rivers. The Middle Fork Clearwater River is open from the mouth upstream to the confluence of the Selway and Locksaw Rivers. The North Fork Clearwater River is open to fishing for Chinook salmon four days per week, Thursday through Sunday. Fishing hours are from 4.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific time, and the daily bag limit is four salmon, only one of which may be an adult. The possession limit is 12 salmon, only three of which may be adults. The North Fork Clearwater River is open from the mouth upstream to Dwarshack Dam. Please refer to the Idaho Fish and Game website for special restrictions for areas within this fishery. The Snake River is open to fishing for Chinook salmon seven days per week from 5.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mountain Time. The daily bag limit is four salmon, only one of which may be an adult, and the possession limit is 12 salmon, only three of which may be adults. The Snake River is open from the Doug Bar boat ramp upstream to Hell's Canyon Dam. The Locksaw River is open to fishing for Chinook salmon seven days per week from 4.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific Time. The daily bag limit is four salmon, only two of which may be adults, and the possession limit is 12 salmon, only six of which may be adults. Both adipose clipped and unclipped adults and jacks may be kept in the Locksaw River Chinook fishery. The fishery is open from the Lowell Bridge upstream to the Twin Bridges near the confluence of Colt Killed and Crooked Fork Creeks. Please note that the South Fork Salmon River Chinook fishery will close at the end of fishing hours on Thursday, July 21st. The fishery is currently open from 5.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mountain Time with a daily bag limit of four salmon, only two of which may be adults. The possession limit is 12 salmon, only six of which may be adults. The fishery is open from the posted boundary at the Jakey Creek Bridge upstream to the posted boundary approximately 100 yards downstream of the South Fork Salmon River Trap and Weir. And lastly, the Upper Salmon River is open to Chinook salmon fishing seven days per week from 5.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mountain Time. The daily bag limit is four salmon, only two of which may be adults, and the possession limit is 12 salmon, only six of which may be adults. The fishery is open from the posted boundary just upstream of the confluence with the North Fork Salmon River, upstream to the posted boundary approximately 100 yards below the Sawtooth Hatchery Weir. Now that we've covered the seasons and rules information for the existing fisheries, I wanted to provide some harvest updates from last week's fisheries. In the Clearwater River drainage, things have really slowed down, and you can see that the only meaningful harvest that we documented last week occurred in the North Fork Clearwater, where we documented 30 clipped adults and 21 clipped jacks. The season total in the Clearwater River drainage is 4,776 adults and 721 jacks harvested. We still have a ways to go with our harvest share in the Clearwater River drainage, so I expect these fisheries to remain open for another couple of weeks. In the Snake River fishery, we documented a few more jacks harvested last week, 11 total, bringing the season totals to 19 clipped adults and 118 clipped jacks. You can see that last week's interval had catch rates of three hours per fish. Uh, that's very good for the few anglers that are down there trying to catch those jacks. So if you're looking for a, a little different experience, go check out the fishery below Hell's Canyon Dam on the Snake River. In the Upper Salmon River, we had harvest drop off a little bit last week compared to two weeks ago. We didn't document any harvest in the section below the Lemhi River. Uh, however, from the Lemhi to the Pasimaroi, we documented 11 adults and two jacks harvested. 
Further upriver from Pacimeroy to the East Fork, 29 adults and nine jacks. And up in the upper end of the fishery from the East Fork of the Salmon, upstream to the Sawtooth Weir, we documented 67 adults and 129 jacks. That brings our season totals in the Upper Salmon River fishery to 453 adults and 215 jacks. Uh, we still have a little ways to go with the harvest share in this fishery, so we don't have any closures slated for this coming week. Uh, but please stay tuned to these updates and updates by our regional fishery manager, Greg Scobie, uh, to keep up to date on this fishery. And lastly, the harvest update for the South Fork Salmon River. We had a really good fishing last week in the section from Jakey Creek Bridge upstream to the Weir. Uh, we estimated 435 adults and 117 jacks were harvested, bringing our season total to 781 adults and 202 jacks. As I mentioned earlier, this fishery is scheduled to close on Thursday, July 21st, which is when we will uh, have met our harvest share for this fishery. Uh, it was a good year on the South Fork salmon. It's not common that we have this fishery running this late into the summer, so hopefully you got to get down there and enjoy it. Taking a look at hatchery returns for McCall Fish Hatchery on the South Fork Salmon River, you can see that we had a couple of uh, big days this week with over 100 adults trapped. Uh, that's good news for meeting our broodstock needs at that facility. Uh, as I mentioned, this fishery will close tomorrow at the end of fishing hours on July 21st. Uh, so if you're heading out for the last couple days, I would encourage you to fish in that area in the upper end of the fishery where these fish are certainly uh, in higher abundance. Taking a look at hatchery returns for the Upper Salmon River facilities, uh, Pasimaroy and Sawtooth. Uh, same story there, we've had a steady stream of adults coming in at Pasimaroy um, with a couple of days with over 100 adults trapped. Same thing at Sawtooth Fish Hatchery. We had a string of days last week where fish were really streaming in and uh, that's likely what led to the good fishing that we experienced about two weeks ago in the Upper Salmon River fishery. Uh, there's still lots of fish in the system. I encourage you to get out and uh, target the fishery on the upper salmon this year. Well, that's it for this weekly salmon fishing update. As you can see, there's still a lot going on in the Chinook fisheries in Idaho, uh, which is certainly a good thing after the poor return years we've been experiencing for the last few. It's certainly not the case this year. There's been lots of opportunity, and I hope you've uh, found the time to get out there and experience it. If you're heading out this week trying to catch a Chinook, I wish you the best of luck and we'll catch up with you next week.